Welcome back to Locked In Kitchen, guys, the show where we get guests on to either cook their favourite meals or go head to head in cooking competitions. This week, I've got what I like to call season 10 of Love Island's Chris and Kem. One's known as the Riz King, the other one I call Pasta Mash. Sammy and Ty, my boys, yeah, welcome, welcome to the welcome show! Welcome to the <laughs> Thank you for being here. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good, bro. Are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You on the show? You think you're nervous? I don't get nervous looking. Yeah, you boys, cooking, I don't know. You boys were actually the boys that inspired me to do the show. You know why? Why? Because because on Love Island, I watched your man's lack of cooking skills, and I was like, I need to help. Whoa! People. Whoa. I need to help people know the basics. Say, so one man's struggle is your game. <laughs> Yeah, so basically. Making a living off us. See what's going on, my people. It's you, mad out here, man. But you see, I've seen him making cheese toasties. But I'm past them. This match. is going to be fun. So, guys, as you can see, you don't know what you're cooking today. No. I never know what I'm cooking. Like. Cooking a tinfoil. Yeah, yeah. Just improvise. Any any guesses? Any guesses before we do the, the magic? That looks like one, no. Coriander. Um, no, you don't like coriander, do you? No, I don't like coriander. Pasta uh, mash. Okay, okay. <laughs> what's coriander? Oh, God. This is going to be a fun show, guys. So, anyway, boys, Fun's please that. unveil. Your Christmas presents. Bow. Bow. I don't even know what that is. Spag bowl. The way the show is going to work is, as you can see, we're going to be cooking a spag bowl. You're known as Pasta Mash, so I'm a bit, I feel like this is a chance for you to, to get your name back. Get, that's some, a, get some redemption. That's an unfair advantage though. Pasta Mash is his specialty and I'm saying pasta. Mean? I just yeah, but no one likes pasta. Uh, it's not really no something to be proud pasta. of. No one likes pasta. <laughs> no one likes pasta mash. I do. Actually, me and you both did. Yeah, okay, the okay. fact you ate all of that, I was watching the show like, huh? Yeah, I loved it. Are you feeling his plate, bro? He's looking. I'm scared about what you eat. So I've actually laid out the ingredients in the right order for you. So I'm not going to leave you guys just to go and cook it because I feel like the ingredients would just stay as they were. But I'm going to be here I'm gonna with get you. McDonald's. I'm going to help you cook it. But before we get into that, I am going to do a challenge. Yes. Whoa. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so in this Tell me it don't involve blindfolds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> of course it does. So in this challenge, I'm going to be blindfolding you both and feeding you free. We're well, not feeding you. Not feeding. Got the spoon ready for you. Okay, I'm feeding worry. myself. Yeah. That sounds you. mad. <laughs> get a free, three different ingredients, and for each one you get right, I can physically come in and help you cook that many times throughout the cooking process. Why have you got so many blindfolds? If you can take, I'm going to take the lid off What have you been up to? Ooh. Chill, PG, 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 PG. So I'm going to show the audience the first... The first oh, I'm checking you can't see, bro. <laughs> no, fuck off. Stop it. So that's not the first one then, is it? Hold your hand up. Alright, it's a spoon. I'm going to say... Where's mine? It's coming. It's cold because it's just been in the fridge. It's freezing. <laughs> how, do, how do I eat it though? Ah. That's it. I know exactly what that is. What's that again? So you gotta write what you think it is. No, it's don't not don't that. say, don't say, write it. Hmm. Is he writing it? Turn your board around, Ty. Catch up! Oh my. It's edible. <laughs> If you don't like it, spit it. Bro, wow. that's bare nice. That's unreal. What is that? I think I know what it is. I think I do as well. <laughs> let, let, let me, but you need to write that again. Is it that bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go again. Can you guess where it? Yeah, please. Perfect. Now, time I'm going to ask you what you wrote. Gherkin. Oh. <laughs> okay, Sammy, please. Pepper. Pepper. So I can reveal Ty. Bow, 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 bow. Two, one, two, one, two, one. I'm gonna wake up and appreciate my senses every day. I'm my shoulder. <laughs> right, ready? I know exactly what that is. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. Yeah, just put the spoon down, Ty, it's calm. Bruv. Oh, actually, do I? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think do. I think I do. I think I do. Let's see. Can you read what I said? Yeah. Was that right? <laughs> That is mad how you spelt that, that's funny. <laughs> Who, Sammy? Yeah. Of course it was Sammy. <laughs> that is mad. Hey, fun fact, Sammy didn't go to school. Hey, I'm blindfolded. If you want to go on Love Island and win the show, just don't go to school. <laughs> well said. Ding! Cool. Can you please reveal what you've written to the camera? Now, yeah? Yeah. Can you please say what you've written? Tabasco. Tabasco. Oh. I said sweet chilli. You said sweet chilli. And you are, in fact, both wrong. Oh my god. Oh. So what it was, was Nando's 
Perry Perry. Chili! So wait, you got gherkin. Is it, what was it, two one? I got two one. I got one. Yeah, two one. All right, cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm real cooking anyway, so don't mind. Yeah, so Are you going to reveal the scores? Yeah. So I can, in fact, reveal the winner this time. <laughs> Is in fact time! Never in well doubt, done, never in doubt, never in doubt. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Same, you didn't win the real thing. Oh. <laughs> that's a low blow, guys. See, that's your winner. That's what? your winner. What? That's your, win. what? That's your winner. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> winner. <laughs> winner. Perfect. So, I can in fact help you twice and you once throughout the cooking process. So, I'm going to be talking these boys through how to make a very simple spag bowl. We've got pasta mash here, so I think this guy's got a bit of experience, so. But Ty's got the extra help in hand, so he can call me in twice. So the first thing we're going to want to do is cut half of a white onion. So I'm going to leave you to however you best think to cut this onion, but ideally we want it nice and in small pieces. You want half? I want it like in nice and dice. Yeah, so you want half so, so we're going to use all this onion, yeah. You just said half though. Well, this is, this is half already. This oh, is half. Oh, oh, half. <laughs> this is half. So up. talk us through what we're doing here, I haven't, I haven't cried since Love Island. <laughs> I ain't crying since Casa Amor. <laughs> oh, I'm already crying. <laughs> Just like the villa. <laughs> so respectful. <laughs> Maybe you seem like a bitch, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Whoa. Do you want a big knife? Ideally, just for next time, you'd want to take this nasty layer off. But you kept I like the flavour so on that layer. Yeah, okay, perfect. Adds more flavour. All right, nice. <laughs> Oh, I've got, just remember, I've got to try these at the end as well. I didn't mention that. I'm going to be tasting these. Oh yeah, at don't the end that, man. And seeing whose is the best in terms of presentation. Oh, we do. Yeah, I forgot. Hey, this like come down with me. One of my favourite shows. I swear. <laughs> what does the winner get? High five. Hi, I'm very impressed with you. I can't yeah, decent, isn't it? Very impressed. So what is this? That's more than enough pieces. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Sure, sure, yeah. Do, do see this one here? Just yeah. Make make them all kind of the same as that. That's healthy. Yeah, yeah, but no, I'm not doing it physically. You lost your first one. So you're getting back, well, into, your, getting back into the gym. I'm a, born, I'm a born natural boxer. We sure show you boxing. boxing. And uh, yeah, oh thinking age. about my return. Oh, that's an exclusive. We you, already know Ty's going to be a big time rapper. Yeah, man, hopefully, bro. Guys, this is how you slice up your onions. Nice pieces, symmetrical pieces. <laughs> He's learned from the best. You get me. That's what happens when you live with someone for a month that's a chef. Trust me. <laughs> Lock and talk me this. I didn't live with him. I didn't live with him. Don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> chef. <laughs> Hello, chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crying? Oh, yeah. I know, it's hard. It's emotional. Right, mate. It's emotional. It is emotional. Seeing the boys again. It's been a long mom. time, bro. <laughs> right, perfect. So if you can just slide your onions back to where we had them at the start. What do you mean sled? Yeah, how do we do that? Like this. With my hands? Right, like this, look. Why well, am I going to slide them there though? Just to remind you of the order of it. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to go on to the garlic. So yeah, please go Ooh. ahead and start chopping your garlic. You've got two pieces. Are we going to use both these pieces, yeah? Yeah. Well, you can use one if you don't want. If you're not someone that likes a lot of garlic and stuff, use one, that's fine. No, I think I like garlic still. Yeah, I like a bit I'm not, not really sure though. But, yeah. Normally, I can do that, I can do that anyway. Chop the end off. Yeah. Like so. And it's easy to peel. Yeah, and then you create a little. How come you got to take off all the vegetables clothes though? Because. Their vegetables got clothes, bro. You don't want to eat that. But don't we need garlic crusher? No, you're going to. I don't have a garlic crusher. Oh, this is. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's beautiful, Sammy. Look at you go. Your posture's mad. And if you're happy to have. Um, just one garlic clove and you think you don't like a lot of garlic, I'll use this for someone else. No, I need two, bro. You need two, right? Whenever I have garlic in a recipe, it's four or five. Five? Yeah, I do a lot. Do I cook in big portions, though. Is that why your breath bangs? Yeah. 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 <laughs> are, you, are you joking, bro? Poor Whitney. <laughs> I, like to, I like to slice my garlics just so I can pretty much see yeah. through it. So you can, you can see my eye, can't you? <laughs> oh, I'm close. That's how you know you're doing it right. Don't get it in your eye, please. We haven't even got to the chilli yet. This is the part I'm most worried about. Because I know you donuts will cut it and be like, ah, uh, touching your face. It's all right, Lachlan, I'm a professional. Garlic done, bow. Can't really do with that. You see, I can cook. It just makes me cry. You're not saying. <laughs> it's just emotional. So I don't really decide to, decide to cook. I'm not that guy, come on. <laughs> hey, like, here you so, go, so, tidy so. now. <laughs> just remember, it's my cooking show, guys, all right? They're my guests, they're my guests. I'm just respectful. <laughs> 
Now for the chili, same again. Just nice and thin, please. <sighs> it's only the last two things of chopping and then we're just That's literally... Tight. You won't buy a bit. No, no chance. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, what are the odds? What, I can't, what paper, scissors to go? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Oh, shit, I've got another chili for you if you want a big one. Uh, uh. No, nah, a bit more. No, more, a bit more. Uh, a bit more. more. <laughs> Should have done a scotch bonnet. That's that. It's like, it's like eating a candle. <laughs> a candle? Have you eaten a candle? A couple of times. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. Woo! It's a mad. Are you feeling it? Woo! <laughs> so do you guys feel inspired now you've, you've come to Lockton Kitchen when you go home and you feel like you're going to be cooking up some new foods? Yeah, yeah man, I like Lockton bro. Kitchen. Still you like it? I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm happy to I'd have I'd eat here if you had a restaurant. Yeah. yeah, open a restaurant, yeah? Open one, man. I will do. What would you, yeah. call, what you call it if you open a restaurant? Locked in kitchen. Right, perfect. So we've got everything chopped. We don't really need, just, just out of interest, I'm going to ask you guys, what is that? Leaf. That's your answer. What's this? What, what leaf is it? Leaf. Smell it. Mint. Oh, it's stinging nettles. Mint, mint, stinging mint. nettles? Yeah. You're hilarious. That's what it smells Imagine. like. Imagine. No, it smells like... What's, what's a green sauce that you often have with pasta? Pesto! So this is basil. That's oh, the, basil, basil. That's the, so yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. pesto, you're right. So pesto, the, you, you use basil. Basil I brush? I thought basil, basil was like that form. No, well, this basil, is... Basil leaf. So you can get... So this is fresh basil. You can get it dried, but we're using fresh basil. So no, that's, you say basil. I thought it was basil. <laughs> that's because you got I basil. basil. <laughs> basil. I, I got it basil. I Basil. 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 More than that? That's enough, that's enough. Perfect. See how you should have done it, Tyler. i got to do that. Yeah! How you should do is that. Oh, he's, that's good yeah. shit. Yeah. you got a technique still. It's true. That's good though, but you've done the nice. And now, let the, now you want to let that get hot. Look at the flick of the wrist. That's good. Is that enough? That's perfect, yeah. Well, right. You know what? A bit more. A lot more. Perfect, that's enough. So now let's let that get hot before we add anything. It's getting hot in here. Mm. So take off all your clothes. I am getting, getting so hot. hot. I want to take my clothes off. Whoosh. Right. Why you got, why you got bare hole? Have you been getting oil spitting on your t-shirt? Oh, no, I got bit up by a moth on the way here. Oh, mad. They went in. Mm. Every <laughs> getting distressed. <laughs> uh, you've changed. It's that distressed, distressed tees oh, now, man. Oh, show show them the shoes. Show them the shoes. <laughs> what shoes you got on? Don't worry about that, sweetheart. <laughs> Genuine question, do you have any other shoes other than LVs and Dior's? I have quite a few pairs of LVs. I've got them in purple and yellow and red. Oh, what? what? Yeah. Can't All the players that's here and the players that was on the island were my sons, you get me? I was the gaffer, now they're trying to talk down on me. But it's alright though. All the other boys, all the other boys. But not today because it's my yeah. show. He was my skipper. I'm the gaffer. But not today, yeah, he could be the gaffer. <laughs> right, perfect. So that's hot. So now please, onions in the pan. Right. But that's the amateur way to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we now we want to saute our onions and do you know what? That reminds me. Maybe let's give you some spoons <laughs> to actually stir it properly. That would be helpful, Lachlan. <laughs> so we just give that a nice stir. Beautiful. And what we're doing now is we're sauteing. It's called sauteing the onions. So you want them to go nice and clear. You're a saute. So it's just cooking them off to make them nice and translucent. So just frying them in it's a bit. Translucent. So if you Seafood, seafood. Am I going to be able to finish this show? <laughs> and then once those are nice and clear, then that's when you're going to add your garlic as well. And that's when the smells are going to start to be like, whoa! You're going to start to feel like a chef. So Lachlan, for the viewers, mm. if you had to recommend any meal, say, say, say one of the viewers out there mm. has got tasty little, tasty little malt coming around his house. Tasting it, tasting it, tasting it, tasting new girlfriend around his house. What's the taste of the malt? Yeah, I didn't, I've never heard that. Malt? Kelly, 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 Oh, tasting new girlfriend. Yeah, tasting new girlfriend coming around his house. Mm. And he wants to cook us something nice. Yeah. But he's not, he's not that talented in the kitchen. Mm. What's, he, he wants to oh, impress her. Oh, that's what's, a good question, you know. I'm saying. Uh, personally, I would do something like a steak. Yeah. Steak's quite easy. I, I do like a parsnip puree. It's a bit complicated though. What she says, what she says. What she says, what she says. I don't like steak. What about seafood? Then I'll do a seafood oh, paella, okay. seafood pasta. She's had options, my yeah. guy. Give her a menu in there. I'll give her a menu. Bro, oh, you, yeah. see, you see me get five rings on the show. That's on my toast. You know what toasty for oh, that? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I didn't get one ring. <laughs> uh, don't, I didn't get really He was so pissed. He was like, I'm just getting another ring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was fuming still. Can't lie. That's perfect. Big man. 
Right guys, so your onions are looking nice and translucent, so now can you please add your garlic to the pan? And the key here is you want it to keep it on a low heat, because the garlic will cook quickly and we don't want it to burn. Oh, a little salt bay, okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let me just chill out. Wait. How did you do that? You brought the kitchen, bro. I'm gonna sit with a spoon. Ooh, that's mad. The locked in flip. It's looking good, though, boys. So the next step is your tomato puree. Yeah. Good squeeze, yeah? Yeah, good squeeze. Perfect. <laughs> bro. I thought you were strong, come on. Yes, chef! Sometimes I talk mean to my food when I'm cooking. How do you do that? Go on. So, you're gonna get eaten. You're about to get eaten. Nice, nice. Make it taste nicer. Right, so yours is cooking on a quite high heat, so I'm just gonna take that off. Hey, this guy's a comic guy. We're gonna transfer that into our pans, and we want. Uh. Just, just, you don't need to. You can just use the bowl. No, I can't. I wanna touch it. Cause... You wanna touch it? Oh, you wanna feel that? Right. That's good. That's looking good, guys. I got a question for you. Mm. You see when um, I see on TikTok, mm. obviously ages ago now, that you made Whitney a girlfriend via, uh, for a meal that you cooked. Yeah. What was the meal that you cooked? Rigatoni bolognese. So it's similar, mm. but the bolognese normally, you cook it for about four hours. Okay. So we'd add in all of our sauce, our wine, our chicken stock, mm. and you'd leave it for like four hours. Oh, see so for that one, I cooked it. I was there cooking all day. I had to make it special, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's put, sick. Put the boyfriend energy into it. For this yeah. one, you're going to see, you're going to get just as nice just as nice in a half the amount of time, or less. Has Whitney done anything cooking for you? You know what, bro? Tell her right now. Whitney! Wait, tell her. Whitney, Whitney. Come Whitney. on, Whitney. Come on, Whitney. Come, Come on, Whitney. You're lacking. <laughs> Come on, thank you, guys. Hey, you're a wick! <laughs> you're a wick! Great. Guys, that's looking perfect. So now what I'm going to say, that's about 80% done. We're now going to add our liquid. So, tomato passata is here. You guys this whole add, thing? Yeah, when you guys to add that in. Whole thing, yeah? Mm-hmm. Ay, 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 ay. Ugh. Yeah, I told you, it's not. Bro, that's too much, bro. That's fine. So I'm gonna add in our chili and our basil. Chili! And now, now it's time for your seasoning. So, little salt bay action. Look at the camera, yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 Add your Italian seasoning, beautiful. Ciao bello. Is that Italian? You're like this, Tao, look. Oh, that's a joke. Alright, <laughs> oh, why can we... That's mad. You've already added enough salt. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> You can wrap a beat to that. Yeah, you actually could. Cold still. I mean, this Sam chilling in the kitchen. Gonna get my water. Dripping. Whoa! <laughs> cold, cold, cold. Dun, 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 dun. So we've added our That's seasoning. Radio guys. Extra. We've added our seasoning. This ain't coming out, man. Let me grow your tea. How are we feeling, guys? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm feeling good. That's still awful good. I know this isn't a traditional bolognese, but it's a simple one and it's going to taste great. These guys didn't actually need me for any help, so I'm going to volunteer myself to put the pasta in the water. Impress, guys. That's me and Sam, we deliver. <laughs> you do. We're like a postman on Love Island. He, did, he says something cool and then he ruins yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> why, why, why are you going with that? What do you mean? You're like a postman, I love it. <laughs> postman deliver. He and says something cool, I was like, yeah, calm. And then he said that, I was like, ah. Oh. Uh, don't that draw, don't that draw was, me out. That was like Zach. His yeah, one Zach line is. Wait, oh, so you don't, you don't break it? Huh? Yeah, are you meant to break it? Because you do this and it starts. You're hurting millions of people's hearts. Right, Just stop talking. Stop talking. So guys, bolognese is cooking, pasta is in. You know what, I'm proud. You've done a good job so far. Thank, Thank you, bro. Thank you. But let's get to the part Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, pat on the back, well done. It means pat a lot back. coming from you. Yeah, thank it you, does. bro. Thank you, a lot. that means a lot. So I know you guys wanted to ask Ty and Sammy a lot of questions, so let's get into mm. it. Let's get into it. Ty, mm. where do you see yourself in five years? In five years from now? Bro, five years, it's kind of a long time, but it's not that long when you think about it, you know? Uh, five years time, I'd like to establish myself as a proper rapper, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Bring out more tunes and just release music that people can relate to and mm. people can vibe to, basically, yeah. And well, you did that in the villa, yeah. didn't you? Well, so you did deliver. Yeah, I'd like to do. Yeah, I said from day man. one, you've got that, 100%. Thank you, man. I, I believe it. in that. I believe in that. 
And yourself, Pastor Mash. So same question to you, Sammy. Pastor Mash boy. Pastor Mash boy. Where do you see yourself in five years? For myself, Lachlan, it's quite simple. I just like to see myself happy, successful. What does success look like to you, though? Success to me, mate, do you know what? Coming off Love Island, things, you're never, you're never too sure exactly. Unless you're that tired of yourself, cooking, rapping. For me, it's kind of an open book. The boxing scene, definitely something I'm going to go down. So, with any chance. Yeah. Now, so. I hear that. I think it, it can definitely be difficult if you come off Love Island and you don't necessarily know what exactly you're Yeah, no, Because exactly. like, even for me, I didn't know I wanted to do the cooking. I knew I loved it. Same for you. I didn't think you knew straight, or did you know with the rapping? I didn't know I was going to do rapping. I just no. didn't do it, didn't I? No. I'm kind of like, do you know what it is? I love my fashion. Yeah. Love my sports. But, like, the, the most important thing to me is that I'm just happy doing do you whatever know what? I'm doing. I think that's such a nice thing, for saying that success is happiness, because I think, I think so, it generally is though. so many people think that success is money. Yeah, no, no, literally. I think that when you have that mindset of like being successful is me being happy, doing what I love, that's when you'll be. I think a lot of people mindset. say it as well, but it's only when you actually realise it. Yeah. Like, I think it's, it jet like it's. I never used to think it when I like even like say a year ago. Yeah. I used to think like success. Like, people would say, oh, it's just being happy, but I'd think, oh, whatever. But like, I actually do believe that. No, I do. I as actually well. really do. No, that's a nice, nice point. I like that. So, Ty, are there any projects or individuals that you'd like to collaborate with in the future? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, I've done some work with Philly and Chunks separately yeah. since coming out, which mm. was enjoyable, man. And I feel like I bounced off them well. Yeah. You know what I mean, and we had a good. Good vibe. little vibe going on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and now Chunks was with JD, so shout out JD, I like to do more stuff with JD. Mm -hmm. Also Foot Asylum, you know, the stuff with Philly and that I'd like to do. Yeah. And also like uh, high-end brands, man, like Montclair, Louis Vuitton, Lube, Lubes, all them things, do you know what I mean? And, but my favourite brand in the world is Nike, so I'd love to, that's my, yeah. that would be my dream collab, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but right. I know it's hard, but I'll get the... 100% bro, oh, yeah, man. 100%, I like that. I can definitely see you in the Montclair and that. Yeah. You, you can do everything, bro. Do you know what it is when we were in Love Island and you wore the suit and you never wear a suit and you chucked your blazer on the bed? Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you've learned. You but won't be doing that yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the Love Island suit, I mean, looking silly, man. I only bought sizes that fit Sammy. Oh, my. Favourite. That's so true. Yeah. Oh, I just know how to wear a suit, you yeah. man, don't. So, same question to you, Sammy. So, any future brands, collaborations, or just projects that you're like, you know what? I love that brand, or I could see myself. Yeah, no, I hear that. Brand. Yeah, so. I, like Ty, right now I've been working with um, quite a few brands to be fair. I think in particular, a couple of meetings with uh, Moss, which is my favourite suit brand. And yeah, like you man say, I, I love wearing suits. I'm a, I'm a suit boy. So even take, take, take me out of the city, but yeah, I'm, I'm still going to be wanting to work with, my, work with my suits, looking smart and that. But I mean, do you know what? For me, um, I definitely do want to get myself down the sporting route. So yeah, sporting brands. Brands, brands in particular, it's hard, it's hard to narrow a few down, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to work with, work with who I, who I work, with, work best with, really. You can definitely see you in the modelling scene. We all yeah, said that. Yeah, I like, I like my high fashion as well. Scene. I, could, I, could, I could get myself into modelling. So what would you say, since leaving the villa, has been the best memory for you? Since like, leaving the Since villa? leaving, so since coming off, it could be like a trip, it could be oh. a brand deal, just something that you just be like, that's crazy. Like, yeah. Do you know what? Uh, one thing that I really, really enjoyed and uh, really made me think like, bro, man, that life is very good is when I went to LA the other day with Ella, man. That was sick. LA was sick. We were just chilling out, vibing, man, and it was just, yeah, it was a proper, like, I come back extra motivated when I come back from LA. Yeah. Uh, because I, 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 said, I remember messaging you, like, was it just me to come back motivated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you go there and you see a lot of entrepreneurs, people that have made it, who yeah. are clear. Everyone's very driven in LA. And yeah. it's just like, wow, you can't, you're there and you just meet yeah, a lot of people and you're just LA. very motivated. I'd love to move there, you know, I'd love to live there. Yeah, really? Not big enough and I'd live there. For me, I would definitely there. live there, but I wouldn't want to live there for like, more than a year. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I could live there still. That's the I first place I've been where I thought I could actually live there. Was it, was it your first time as well? First time going to LA. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. But what about you, Sammy? So, um, what's been the best memory for you? I mean, for me, it's, it probably sounds silly because some amazing things have happened to me since I've been out, but do you know what? It's genuinely like the, the little things like when I'm out doing a bit of shopping and someone comes over to me and they're just like, even even like the younger generations are saying like, oh, like saying you're inspiration or saying they love watching me or I'm their favourite or can I have a bit. Even just ask for a picture and just like generally just like it makes you feel like you've actually like impacted someone, do you know what I mean? And even like, just, just li little things as small as that. Just it really, it does like, properly like make my day yeah. when when people do that. So, 
yeah, that. But um, yeah, I mean, just work, working with brands that I never dreamed I'd work with, and just doing this as, as like a, a new life. Just yeah, the whole the whole thing's just amazing, mate. It's crazy. It's definitely I agree with you. It's a it's a, it's a nice feeling because for us, we're not we're no different to before. But when you have people who come up to you and know you, it's a weird feeling. Literally, like, man. It's, it's a weird feeling. And like people actually send you like the nicest messages, like saying that I've actually like changed them and stuff, and it's like. You can't actually believe that, like, it's you doing that. So, it's, did it's you get nice. a DM like, "Your past the math just inspired me"? I, I did. just want to get into cooking. I got, yeah, <laughs> I, I got a couple offers, but <laughs> past the math stays with Sammy. So, Ty, how did you get into football? And summarize your football journey. So, did you get into it as a kid? Like, mm. what was that experience like? Obviously, I got into football because my dad used to be actually a pro footballer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he used to actually play professionally at a oh. decent level, to be fair. So, football was always something in my family that obviously I used to go watch him every weekend with my mum and brother and my nan and granddad. So, yeah, football was always a big part of our lives. It's always a big part now, do you know what I mean? I feel like I have sort of neglected football since I come out, but football is definitely a big part of my life. I want to do some stuff to involve sports and football, so do more stuff like that. And I might even go back into football, yeah. I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I just got into it from the age of three, four, as long as, really? as, long as I can that remember, young? I was just wow. kicking balls around the house and then, That's cool. yeah man, I got to a Sunday league team, mm. then went to the academy and stuff like that, so yeah. And do you still stay in touch with all of the team? Because I can imagine yeah. you all being really, really close, yeah. it's my brothers. Like... Obviously the team I was at, uh, Lewis, before I loved that, literally just before I went in the villa, I'm still in the group chat now. So imagine when I got my phone back, I was seeing oh. all, I, re I literally read through it all in one day, it was mad. Uh, it must have taken a literal whole yeah, day no, to do ages, that as well. Like, they were supporting me and yeah, man, I couldn't fight them enough and I'm still in it now. We have some banter and stuff yeah, like that. So yeah, I miss nice. them to be fair. I feel like coming off of Love Island, it, it, like you're even more appreciative of your mates and yeah, your boys yeah, yeah. because it's like they're the people that like you know are, have got your back and yeah, you go to all these new fancy places, yeah. but it's nice to keep yourself grounded. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's, have a lot of there's a lot of fake people in the industry, in it, so it's just nice to know who you're rolling. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, Sammy, do okay. you have any other party tricks other than the leg hop? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and just... if you can, we want to see. <laughs> hey, do you know what? You, the, 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 the leg hold gets busted out everywhere, <laughs> but every now and again, if I'm feeling an extra bit free. I do do a backflip, but uh, I can't. I, I don't fancy doing a backflip in the kitchen. You do a leg hold. I do the leg hold right now. Right now Three, two, one. All right, all right. I'll, 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 I'm here treating the viewers to an exclusive. Oi, oi, oi! The crash. <laughs> messed it up. Wait, wait, wait. Take two, take two, take two. The LVs as well. Yeah, taking my shoes off for you. Take my shoes off for all of you. All right, ready? <laughs> Bro, I've lost it, man. It's, he the, car, it's the cargo. He don't have the party trick no more. No, it's the cargo. No, it's done. Right, one more time, one more time. One more time, one more time. One more time. It's the cargo, it's man. I haven't got, I ain't got full movement. Hey! hey. My God, He's my a talented God. guy. I deliver. Do you like your stick or do you want it a bit more? I like it thick. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you, me too. So do you know what, for me, yours is done. Done, yeah? Yours needs a bit more cooking, and this is just based on that hob's maybe a bit more powerful. Are you happy with the consistency? I want it thicker, bro. You want it thicker than that? I want it thick. All right, we'll turn it up then. We'll make it nice and thick. <laughs> what about you, do you like yours, do you want yours to thicken or do you want it like liquidy? What do you prefer? Uh, little thicker. Let's put this on here. The beefy thick and thin, she already <laughs> fits with halfway there. there. Right, we'll get that thick and put your lid back on. It's really important. I know you like your stick and it's still going to be thick, but we're going to add a bit of that pasta water. It, it will help it thicken up. So this starchy pasta water is like gold in the chef industry. Where? This right here Can you is, sell gold, it? is gold. Where? Because it helps the sauce thicken, it helps it, everything come together. What, this, this, this? This pasta sauce, yeah. So the pasta water. If it's gold, have you got it? Because. I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying to you, this in, oh, this in the chef industry is like pasta. very important. Yeah. So I'm going to let you, I'll add some of this. Or do you want to add the liquid gold? Can you hold the gold, G? Take the gold. Come on, just add it. Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Give it a stir. What, does it make it thick here? Yeah. How comes though? Because of the, the starch from the pasta. Okay. It helps it thicken. I'm going to put that back on. Oh, you didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you, he's like, where's mine? Oh shit, oh shit, shit. So whilst our pasta's cooking off, 
What is the biggest misconception? <laughs> all of that, all of yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception people have when they meet you in person? Ooh. You know what? I feel like I've met I've met quite a lot of people. Yeah, obviously, when you're out and about and that, and people uh, stop and talk to you and yeah. offer pictures and stuff like that. And yeah. People are always like so surprised how like nice I am. I'm like, yeah, like of course you can. Like, you know what I mean? And everyone mm. thinks I don't know. Everyone thinks I was just a prick or I would be a prick. <laughs> you thought about the same thing. Yeah, and then I asked. I was like, oh, and then they act, they look surprised. I'm like, oh, what did you expect me to yeah. do? And they're like, oh, I thought you were gonna be a prick. I'm not gonna lie, but you're really nice. I'm like, no, I'm a nice guy, man. Like literally, to me. We're in a, we're not, we're, I don't see us as celebs in a slight, yeah. you know what I mean? We literally turn on the TV show. We didn't, we didn't need to have any talent to do it. Yeah, anyone can do it, really, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's not gonna, I'm not going to act like I'm special or anything yeah. like that. So, yeah, yeah. man. When I was there, because I was obviously the only Casa boy at one point, mm. and you made a group and you made us all come together and so, like, made me feel like, listen, I know you're the only mm. Casa boy, but they, I always knew that you were a very respectful guy. Appreciate but. that, man. I just wish the rest of the world knew. Nah. <laughs> instead, of the one, instead of the ones in my... He's a respectful guy. Instead of the ones in my DMs. <laughs> Um, bad messages every day. Yeah, so. exactly. And same question to you, bro. What's the other than the fact people think you're small when you're flipping? Oh, mate. Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> I don't understand it. I, I want to address this right now. <laughs> yeah, so I want to address this right now. I don't know why it is, but coming out of the villa, like eighty percent of the people that see me are always surprised that I'm tall, and they always think I'm smaller than what I was. And I don't know why this is, but I'm a tall guy, aren't I? Yeah, you're small, I'm a tall guy. That's, <laughs> It gets to it gets to me, but uh, no, for real, it's like Ty said. Um, <laughs> oh, Ty, it's like Ty said. People kind of expect you to be maybe a bit rude or a bit stuck up, and um, I don't know really. Like whenever whenever someone stops for a picture, I'll always I'll always make an effort not just to take a pic, but to have like an actual conversation and stuff. Like, and I think people just don't expect that, but. Um, yeah, we're like like Ty said, we're just I'm literally, especially with my family and friends, like I'm literally the exact same person I was before. I'm literally Sammy from Kent, do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm not like Leonardo DiCaprio, do you know what I mean? My guy, by the way. But yeah, we're just Why did you say him though? It, that's Wait, you look like him, that's he what lo he it is. loves him. Like, I don't look like him. Like, 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 he's he's my idol, man. So what has Love Island taught you about yourself? Ooh. Oh. Oh, we're getting deep in the kitchen, man. Come on, bro. That's what we do, it's not just banter. Do you want to start? Go first, I'll, I'll kick it off. Love Island has made me realise that, I don't know really, I think, I think it's made me realise everyone needs to sort of put themselves out of their comfort zone sometimes, because like, I'm quite an outgoing person, yeah, but like, going on to Love Island is still quite mad. Like, as you both know, when you walk through them doors, you don't know anyone there, you're sort of, you're, you're in a mad environment and like, I think it just generally teaches you that like even like even like some people that sort of just get a bit like a bit of anxiety before going out and that out and stuff like that. It teaches you like if you can do that, it's like you're actually like proper. Yeah. You can you can do a lot more than what you actually think you can, do you know what I mean? Like I don't really I, I'm quite an outgoing person, like I said, but yeah, I mean it, it really did teach me that like you just need to sort of throw yourself into stuff, even when you're even when you're a little bit a bit jittery. Love Island taught me two things. The first thing I'd say is that I can actually get on with a lot of people, like from different places, yeah. backgrounds, ages, like that's, that's the first thing it really taught me because generally other than some moments when I dislike people at some moments, I never really disliked anyone in there if I'm being honest. So yeah, it made me realise that yeah, I'm a versatile person, I get on with a lot of people and a second, I realised that I'm capable of catching feelings because <laughs> yeah, as you all know. You didn't know that. Yeah, I used to be a nine like early, back in the day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Get the verse. Love Island made me just calm down a little bit. So that's made me realise I can catch feeling for someone, man, and yeah, it's nice. So, oh, that's same good. two things. I like that bro. Perfect. What did Love Island make you guys? Yeah. Um, we should have asked him all the questions, but <laughs> no, it's calm, I like that. I think the viewers are interested to know, man. <laughs> what did Love Island teach me? Um I think that it made me I don't know, I think for me personally, it made me appreciate like my family more, I think. I'm, t I'm saying it more from a perspective of you're locked in like a bubble and that's just not a normal environment so I don't know you kind of take for granted just seeing your mates, being with your family, being with your friends so for me when I got back it was nice to kind of just ground myself, be with the people I'm closest to. <laughs> Done. Right let's have a look at this pasta, thank you for those questions, I hope you guys enjoyed those answers just as much as me. Now back to the main priority, the steam train, the food. I think this is done, I'm going to take this off. Give that a nice little, take these lids off. How many times I got to stir it, man? That's it, that's done now. Oh, that's mad, bro. This is a proper guy. Oh, it's done. That's it. 
Romeo That's done. Perfect. Look at that. Alright, what's your do with this? Oh, it's hot. Let me take it. Oh. Give yours a nice stir. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. It's come together nice. I met this lad about half tea. Asked him where he's from. He's on a scout, so he's from Waterloo. <laughs> so, Sammy, if you want to just add half of that. A bit more. Ooh. That's good. Right now, I'm going to redeem my code. To, for Lockin to come in and step in and help me whenever time. So I want to use three at once and just let him do the rest. Bosh. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get three? I didn't get, oh, I got two, sorry. <laughs> Damn, this looks good though. Really good. I'm impressed with myself. I well, do. I do. No. This is Sammy and Ty's Tasty Kitchen. We've finished cooking up. Now it's time to serve up. Bow. Bow. You're going to break Lockin's tea. Hey, it tastes crazy. I'm not going to do this. Presentation, yeah. Beat that, bro. <laughs> I'll do what I always do. She's beat you. Oh, have a low blow. <laughs> See, when you go to the to the the fine restaurants, you only get small portions. What I'm saying. So there you have it, final product. Sammy's gone for the, the Michelin star, if, if you can call it that, the fine dining, smaller portion, whilst Ty's gone for the nice, wholesome vibe, mum's cooked home spag bowl. So let's now give it, <laughs> let's give it a taste and give it a score on, on presentation as well. Okay then, so on presentation for me, I'm giving you Sammy out of five a free. Just Ooh. because for me, the, the, oh. che the cheese around the outside is a bit amateur for me. Ooh, so good. I don't know which fine dining restaurants you've been to which have done that. Amateur, man. But yeah. the, the really fine ones. That <laughs> 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 It still it might taste great. Mm -hmm. For me personally, the presentation of this is giving wholesome, home cooked. And for me personally, I like that more. So I'm going to give it a four. Right, so now time for the, the real test, the taste test. Considering they both had the same ingredients, it's going to be down to the seasoning. Who seasoned it better? <laughs> Bit heavy on the salt. Seasoning wise, considering you both use the same seasoning, they both taste really good. But for me, per well, in fact, let me not speak. Let me write on the board. But while I do that, let me get you some forks. It's clearly the winner, isn't it? The final so. scores in. How are we feeling? Are we nervous? Are we confident? Not really, man. I think it's quite clear who won that, so. So. No, don't do that, big man. Because I, <laughs> I beat you on a presentation. I thought you were going to win, innit? Yeah, on presentation, that. Sammy, you got three. Ty, you got four. Mm. <sighs> but on the taste, mm. Sammy, you in fact got four out of five. I'll take it. Ty, you got. Three and a half. But you're still on top by half a point, so in <laughs> fact, Ty has won by half a point. So it was a close one. It was a close one. Pleasure, bro. A pleasure. I hope you both learned the basics Thank of you. cooking a good Thank pasta. You. Thank you. Thank well. you for your help, mate. I appreciate Did it. Did you enjoy the pasta? Let me just say something to the fans, listen. I've made it my personal mission to beat Sammy at something <laughs> since he won um, Love Island. We was on Love Island, if you didn't know, by the way. He won it. I came for it. Both of these two beat me, but I made it my personal mission to beat him at something, and now I've finally done it. So, yeah, everyone give me a round of applause, please. Well done, mate. Well done. So, you saw it here first, guys. Ty and Sammy in Locked In Kitchen created both beautiful dishes, but Ty came out on top. Wow. wow. <laughs> dubs only, dubs only, dubs only. They also know how to cook a basic spag bowl now, so I'm happy with that. Proud of my sons. Thank you for being on the show, guys. Thank you, man. <laughs> Swallow that. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you, David. That's my you, <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more guests on the show. And yeah, tune in to next week for more recipes. Tune in. Tune in.